Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Francesca and today I will be guiding you in this 20 minute yoga class, perfect for anyone who is approaching yoga now or anyone who would like to review some foundational poses like Down Dog, Warrior 2 and Sphinx Pose. Before we start, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up to subscribe to my channel and activate the notification button as it really helps me within YouTube and the algorithm. When you're ready, let's start in a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes, roll the shoulders back. See if you would like to take any movement before finding stillness and arrive on the mat and in the space. As you close your eyes, start to draw the attention to the breathing. Making sure to relax your face muscle, the neck, the shoulders. Slowly becoming more aware of your surroundings and of any sensation arising from within. Now let's take a deep breath in through the nose, big sigh out through the mouth. One more, deep breath in, hold, big cleansing sigh out through the mouth. And one last time, deep breath in through the nose as you fill up your lungs. Exhale. Then open your eyes and reach up with the arms as you lengthen. Exhale, release the hands down. Again, bring the arms up, really reaching higher. Exhale, hands down. One more time, arms up, lengthening here. And as you exhale, start to twist towards the right side. Shift the gaze over the right shoulder. Left hand finds that right knee. Right hand on the ground. Doesn't matter how deep you twist, but try to lengthen through the spine, getting the crown of the head towards the ceiling. Back to the center, arms up, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, let's go to the other side. Gaze over the left shoulder. Right hand finds this time the left knee. Same thing as before, make sure to lengthen through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, you can twist a little bit deeper. We are still at the beginning of the practice, so really take it easy now. Starting to warm up through the spine. Back to the center, reach the arms higher. Right hand on the ground, left arm reaches over the head. Lengthen it through the side of the body. One deep breath here. Then as you exhale, shift the gaze to the ground. Start to lean forward and to the right side. Rise back up as you open, look up. Two more like that. Running through the spine, gaze towards the ground. And rise back up. And last one, running here, take a moment as you lengthen even more. And rise back up. Let's go to the other side, left hand on the ground, right arm over the head. Take a moment here, first lengthen in the side. Then as you exhale, round, gaze towards the ground with the navel. And lift. Two more like that. Running through the spine. And rising higher. And on the last one, running through the spine, gaze towards the ground, take a moment here. Then lift yourself back up and release. Let's make your way into a tabletop position. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Do any wiggle you would like to take here, then when you're ready, rotate the fingers to face the knees, wrist facing the top of the mat. As you inhale, look up, draw the shoulder blades together. As you exhale, run through the spine, gaze towards the navel. Now keep doing this movement, transitioning between your cat and calves, warming up through the spine, the arms, the wrist. And if you would like to add a little bit more intensity, you can always lean slightly back as you run through the spine. Be mindful that this is optional, so just decide based on how this feels in your body, never taking it too far. Be mindful that it shouldn't be painful. More last deep breath, wherever you are. And as you exhale, make your way back into the neutral position. Take a moment to shake off the hands as you rotate again the fingers to face the top of the mat. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, hips up and back into your first down dog. And for your first down dog, see if you would like to take any movement or whether you would like to stay in stillness. Movement could be bending one knee and then the other one. 
shaking of the head, moving the hips. So really take the moment to make this pose a little bit more comfortable as well as you create space through movement, through the breath. There isn't right or wrong, just to take a moment here to listen to your body, what it needs. Now start to find a little bit more stillness in case you're adding movement. And as you exhale, start to walk with the hands towards your feet, making sure you to soften the knees. Head is heavy. Hands can stay on the ground, or maybe you like to hold onto your opposite elbows. Gently starting to swing side to side into your rug doll. Having the movement starting from the hips, not from the arms. Close your eyes and make sure to keep the knees soften. The key here is to so give space to your spine, allowing to lengthen with the help of gravity. Then release the hands down and slowly start to unroll the spine, keeping the head heavy. Rising up, lifting the head up, last arriving into your mountain pose and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through the nose and a big cleanse inside out through the mouth. Then open your eyes, reach the arms up, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, fold Uttanasana. Halfway lift, lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, fold again and walk forward with the hands back into your down dog. Noticing if this feels the same or different. Then run through the spine, make your way forward into a plank. And as you exhale, hips up and back down dog. And let's keep moving between your plank and your down dog, starting to activate the core. To find that dynamic movement to strengthen the body and to lengthen your hamstrings. Here now as you come forward, exhale back. Then it's time holding to your plank and lower the forearm down on the ground. Make your way into your forearm plank. Keeping the upper back rounded, push the ground away and use the breath here. Free to take a break whenever you need to. We're gonna stay here just for two more deep breaths. As you exhale, lower the hips down on the ground. Make your way into a sphinx pose as you keep drawing the shoulder blades together. Relaxing the face, the jaw, the neck. Deep breath in and out through the nose. Coming back to the breath. Then lower the forehead down on the ground, hands underneath the shoulders, tuck your toes, and lift yourself back up, transitioning through your child's pose to lengthen the spine. Then when you're ready, down dog. Deep breath in and out. And as you lean out, lift the right leg up, three leg down dog, hold. And shift the gaze forward and step, right foot in between the hands, bring the arms up, high lunge. Keep the front leg bent, try to extend the back leg as you hold onto a balance. Keeping the gaze so you drish the to a steady point. As you exhale, open into a warrior two, so the back foot lowers down on the ground, hands spread to the floor, gaze follows the right hand. See if you can bend through the front leg a little bit more and keeping the hands as they are, Reach over the head with the right arm, lengthening through the right side of the body. As you exhale, back up, right forearm onto the right thigh, left arm over the head, extended side angle. Let's repeat, reverse warrior, reaching with the right arm over the head, and extended side angle. One more time like that. Rising up, right arm over the head as you lengthen the side of the body. Extend the side angle, right forearm onto the right thigh, left arm over the head. Then shift the gaze towards the ground, left hand on the mat, right arm up as you pivot over the left foot. You can stay with the knees up, otherwise you can lower the left knee down on the ground. Staying here for two more deep breaths. If your knee is lifted, lower it down. Reach back with the right hand, finding the left foot. Guide the heel towards the glute, lengthening the quad. If this is not accessible, keep reaching back towards the left foot. 
Visualizing, finding the foot and drawing it closer towards you, creating a lengthening. Just one last deep breath here. And whenever you're ready, release. Heel to the right foot at the center of the mat and bring the arms over the head as you make your way into your low lunge. Pushing forward with the hips as you reach higher and back with the hands, opening through the chest. One more deep breath here. And as you exhale, release the hands on the ground, framing the right foot and extend the right leg. As you exhale, bend it again. So we're going to transition between this low lunge and half split, warming up through the hamstring and preparing the body to hold this position in stillness. One more like that. And now as you're ready, keep that leg extended, guiding the belly towards the thigh, really activating through the right quad. Flex the right foot, keep lengthening from the crown of the head. Take a deep breath in and out through the nose. And as you exhale, release, bending again the right leg. Tuck your left foot, lift the knee off the ground and take a big step back as you make your way into your plank. Walk forward with the hands, lower the forearm down, forearm plank, we've been here before. Push the ground away, keep the gaze forward as you keep lengthening from the crown of the head. Using the breath. Staying here just for two more deep breaths. And as you exhale, release the hips down on the ground, draw the shoulder blades together, sphinx pose. Keep opening through the chest, so try not to sink here, but elevate the chest higher. As you exhale, release the forehead down on the ground. Now interlace the fingers behind the back. Palms together, really pushing away with the hands. And as you exhale, lift the head, shoulder and feet off the ground. Keep elevating a little bit higher. Really engage in the back part of the body. And as you exhale, release the lower down and shift the gaze towards the left side. Hands underneath the shoulders, you move the hips side to side. Then tuck your toes, bend the knees, transitioning first into a child's pose. And as you exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Deep breath in and out through the nose. Stay here just for one more deep breath. Then lift the left leg up, three leg down dog. Shift the gaze forward and step left foot in between the hands. Rising up with the arms, high lunge, bending through the front leg, keep the back leg extended. Keep the gaze to a steady point. Holding here for one more deep breath. Warrior two now as you lower the back heel on the ground, shift the gaze towards the left hand, shoulders relaxed. Keep bending through the front leg. Reverse warrior, so rotate the left palm up and towards the ceiling as you bring arm over the head. Keep bending through the front leg. Lengthening again through the side of the body. Then rise back up, left forearm onto the left thigh. Right arm reaches over the head, extend the side angle. Again, reverse warrior. And extend the side angle. Just one more of this, reverse warrior. And extend a side angle. Keep opening through the chest. Lengthening even more, then shift the gaze towards the ground, left hand on the mat. Right hand on the mat, left arm up towards the ceiling as you pivot over the right foot. Like before, you can keep the back knee lifted or lower down on the ground. Keep creating space. Then once you lower the knee down the ground, reach back with the left hand, finding your right foot. Get the heel to the glute as you hold onto the twist. Keep pushing forward with the hips, opening through the chest. And as you exhale, release. Heel to the left foot at the center of the mat. Then bring the arms up towards the ceiling into a low lunge. Gently pushing forward with the hips as you reach higher and back with the hands. Keep opening through the chest. So take long deep breath in and out through the nose. 
As you exhale, release the hands on the ground and extend the left leg. Then as you exhale, bend. And like before, transition in between your half split and low lunge to warm up through the left hamstring before finding stillness. Then when you're ready for stillness, just pause there, guiding the belly towards the thigh, keeping the left leg extended. As you exhale, release, tuck your right toe, lift the knee and step back into a plank. Walk forward with the hands, lower the forearm down on the ground, forearm plank. Keep pushing the ground away as you keep the gaze to a steady point, rounding through the spine. Deep breath in and out through the nose. And as you exhale, release the hips down on the ground. Release the forehead down on the mat. Open the hands to the side of the mat. Start to slowly unroll the spine, open through the chest, look up, draw the shoulder blades together. And as you exhale, start to lower down towards the ground, lower the forehead down on the mat. Hands underneath the shoulders, tuck your toes, lift yourself up and back into a down dog. Take a moment here in stillness. And shift the gaze towards the top of the mat and slowly start to take small steps, bringing the feet at the top of the mat in between the hands. Forward fold. Now hook your big toes, keep the knees bent in order to find your feet. And if flexibility allows, you can start to straighten the legs. Keep bending the elbows, guiding the belly towards the thigh, allowing the head to be heavy. And as you hold here, start to shift the weight a little bit more onto your toes as you fold deeper. Using the breath. In and out. Maybe closing the eyes as you isolate any noise around you. Then extend the arms, take a deep breath in. Hands on the ground, heel to the feet mat width apart with the toes pointing out. Bend the legs as you make your way into your malasana, your yogi squat. Lengthening from the crown of the head, hands into a prayer position, use the elbows to open the knees. Keeping the spine extended, back is straight. Take one more deep breath here. Then as you exhale, with the help of the hands, make your way to sit down on the ground. Keep the legs bent for a moment. Hands behind the thighs, draw the shoulder blades together as you elevate the chest higher. Then as you exhale, run through the spine and shift the gaze towards the navel. Again, open the chest, draw the shoulder blades together, look up. Exhale, round. One more leather, open through the chest, lift the chest higher and lift the feet off the ground into a boat pose. Finding your balance here. Extend the arms forward. Keep drawing the shoulder blades together. Maybe the legs are bent. You can extend the legs out along to see what you prefer as an option. Just one last breath here. And then as you exhale, release the feet down on the floor. Hands behind the back. Lift the chest higher. Draw the shoulder blades together. Option to stay, option to lift the glutes off the ground into a reverse table pose. Wherever you are is completely fine, keep opening through the chest. One more deep breath. And as you exhale, release the glutes back down on the floor. Extend the legs out and long. But bend the right leg, placing the right foot inside the left inner thigh. Then reach up with the arms, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, fold either front of your foot, the ankle, or the thigh. Make your way into a Janu Shirshasana. Keeping the head heavy. Staying here for two deep breaths. Be mindful that it doesn't matter if you're holding on to your ankle or to your thigh. Just use the help of the arms to go a little bit deeper. And to just tap in the sensation of surrender and release. One last breath. Then start to rise back up. Preparing to go to the other side, we're going to extend the right leg out along as you place the left foot inside the right inner thigh. 
Ik zet de arms up towards the ceiling, take a deep breath in, and as your exhale, start to forward fold. Find your foot, your ankle, or the thigh. Allowing the head to be heavy. As you take a long deep breath in and out. Maybe closing the eyes as you find again the sensation of surrender and release. Stay here just for one more deep breath. And then start to rise back up. Make your way into a comfortable seated position that could be cross leg or sitting on the heels. Extend the arms up towards the ceiling, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, hands into prayer position as you close your eyes. You can even place one hand on the heart or one on your belly if you prefer. Take this moment here to thank yourself for finding this time today. For starting something new in case this was your first yoga class. And in general for putting your body out of your comfort zone. Just be mindful that it doesn't matter how your practice looks like, what matters is that you were here, that you showed up for yourself. And you can stay here in this meditative pose for as long as you like before getting on with the rest of your day. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed this class and if you did, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and to leave a comment. There is a lot of effort and work behind these classes and any support is extremely appreciated. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow back on the mat.